Welcome back. It's Thursday. It's tea spilling Thursday, so we're spilling the tea. We're starting off with a Garth Brooks update. So he canceled the next five cities on his concert tour, including the concert plan for right here in Baltimore. He says he was wrong about COVID being done. Now, for ticket holders, no action is required to obtain a refund. Ticketmaster will issue a refund to the original method of payment used at the time of purchase. So it looks like him, his 10-gallon hat, and all those things, uh, are dun 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 staying home. Yeah. <laughs> Angie, Angie Martin with the Better Business Bro is back here with us. Angie, I feel like the the best thing for him to do at this time, the business savvy thing for him to do is a virtual concert. Don't cancel the whole thing. Just make it virtual. What do you think? I do because they've done that the last year, so many artists, and it really increased their following. Mm -hmm. uh, they had more, more people were exposed to their music because it was virtual. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, so I think that would be a mm -hmm. really great thing to right. do. Um, on the other hand, you know, I agree from a business sense that um, deferring any responsibility for being one of those spreader events, yeah. uh, and once your name, their reputation affiliated mm -hmm. with that. And then on the other hand, um, we're all craving this that, um, you know, we're, we're so many people are willing to do. I'm faced with the same decision. Do yes. I want to go to a concert? Mm -hmm. And, this and blew up on, it blew up on social media. People were so it, upset. And yeah. I mean, it's just, it, it, hopefully he, he changes his mind, does a virtual concert, and he can still make that money, okay? All right, let's move on to our next Bill and Tea topic. Facebook is removing hateful comments directed towards Lizzo from its social media platforms. So some trolls are even getting their accounts removed. TMZ initially reported that Lizzo broke down on video over the weekend, crying over being the subject of fat shaming and racist comments. And sources say they're removing accounts of users who continue breaking those community guidelines around surrounded by, um, you know, hate speech and harassment and bullying. Um, in other news, Angie Barnett, I'm willing to throw hands at anybody and fight anybody who says another negative thing about my girl Lizzo. I love her. I love her. I love her confidence. I love how she shines no matter what. And, you know, I love her new song with Cardi B and this what all started all of this. Now, what do you think about this? Oh, I'm just three cheers for Facebook for doing this. And, yes. uh, you know, to bullies are, they're just, uh, social media gives them such mm -hmm. a, a, a platform. So yes. yay for that. And then I, the humility that she mm -hmm. demonstrated of the real, you yes. felt her pain. I felt it. I was like and crying I with felt her. It. Oh my it gosh. It was so genuine, so authentic. Yeah. And that's what we all need to know. Is exactly. We forget people are humans. Okay, exactly. People are humans. And, and you know, we need to treat her as such. Well, thank Absolutely. you so much for spilling the tea with me today. Y'all know what to do. Y'all better go sip on all that tea. Thanks, Angie.